Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. Hope all is well. Thank you for taking the time to look at some video. Check out my other two channels, the Tom Brand One and Tom Brand One Thoughts. Now, going back to my beloved Dolphins, man, roller coaster of an affair for the Dolphins. 31 24 victory, six wins in a row. Uh, we jumped out to a strong lead early in the fourth quarter. The 49ers, you know, they managed to fight back into the contest. Hit a field goal to cut the Dolphins' lead to seven points. San Francisco drove down the field and had themselves in prime position to score. With two seconds left on the clock, all that the Kaepernick, Kaepernick gimmick squad needed to do was to gain a few yards and hit a uh, PAT to take things into overtime. However... The Dolphins, they continue to show, um, you know, that under the leadership of Gase, I guess, the team refuses to accept anything less than victory, and here we are, we win, we win. Just, uh, I'm still not sold on Gase, I, I, I don't know, it's something about it, I'm not sold on Gase completely, not all in with Gase. Tell you, I'll be more in with Gase more than I'll ever be with Tannehill. Now, listen, I know, here we go, everything about Tannehill, blah, 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 blah. Yes, he did probably have one of his greatest games as a pro, but all in all, it, with against the 49ers, but all in all, Tannehill, it's just, yeah, I don't get that feeling of franchise quarterback. I get a feeling of more of Alex Smith. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, Six in a row, we're now in the playoff picture. Tannehill, give credit where credit's needed. Played an extremely high level throughout the game. He had the uh, the game plan down for that game for Adam Gase. Um, deep ball accuracy uh, stood out to me. Uh, Make he made big throws outside of the pocket, 46 yarder to uh, Devontae Parker, third down. Jump started the offense was a laser, as was to Kenny Stills on his deep touchdown connections. You know, impressive. Like I said, he had one of the greatest uh, outings of his career. He didn't play game manager uh, this game. He was the driving force behind the team's victory. Ajay, while the primary reason, you know, behind the running back unit struggles were directly related to the um, the offensive line, which was beat up. Um, the, the group was not entirely devoid of blame. J Train and Damian Williams, I think they appeared indecisive at times and were not really all that great in creating yards after contact. Um, you know, Ajay's path to the end zone was relatively unimpeded as a result of you know fantastic play design by Adam Gase and the coaching staff despite not many despite I think the Dolphins not making any spectacular plays the running backs served their role as the team's primary method of keeping pressure off uh, Tannehill behind an offensive line that was uh, shoddy at best you know when you look at the wide receivers they uh, benefited from a lights-out performance by Tannehill. Made spectacular plays in order to cash in, and in order to keep that cash in from Tannehill's accuracy in this game. Jarvis Landry wasn't a huge, huge factor at all. He still helped move the chains. Um, Devontae Parker continues to emerge. During the California trip, he proved that it was no fluke. Um, under Tannehill's constant pressure, he served as, a, I think, like a key 
uh, go key uh, option and a go to uh, in a in a go to option. Um, definitely a deep threat. Um, when you look at Parker, just another thing here. Uh, it seems that Gase is clearly calling plays to get the to get Parker more involved in the offensive game plan over the last couple of weeks. Stills, Sims, they all also made huge plays. The offensive line, injuries, injuries galore. Um, you thought, I did, that the offensive line could cost the, uh, the Dolphins the game. The unit did step up, step up in key moments, so you give them to them for that. Uh, the pass protection held up when it needed to. Uh, but mediocre overall. The run block was definitely worse than the pass protection if you look at this game. Offensive line was not able to create uh, running lanes for J Train. And so it was, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth. The offensive line is uh, banged up. As far as the linebackers, Alonzo had another outstanding day. His counterparts there uh, continued the season-long struggle in coverage and run support. And it, it, it could not be more obvious uh, that, the Dolph that the 49ers' uh, game plan was to exploit the Dolphins' uh, lack of athleticism at that position. They definitely succeeded. As Kaepernick had no trouble gaining ground with his legs time and time again. Had it not been for Alonzo's uh, interception, fumble recovery, and game-saving tackle, yeah, the, the linebacking core would be a complete mess for this game. Um, when I'm looking at the coaching... The play calling on offense was spectacular, even in the absence of a reliable offensive line. But it seemed like the coaching staff at time was unprepared to keep the team engaged with a substantial lead, like the lead was slipping away. Uh, listen, at the end of the day, we won six straight games now. Seven and four record. Uh, make a now we're in position to make a legitimate playoff push. Our defense it bent and it was ready to crumble in that fourth quarter. But the offense made plays all day in the face of uh, and injuries. Um, seven and four. Can we make the playoffs? I hope. I hope. But let's not start looking ahead. You know, I've seen a lot of Dolphin fans make videos about how the, the 49ers were completely buried and we got them and they're, they're nothing. They're trash. They're garbage. Well, uh, we did lose some hairs watching this game. So let's not, you know, let, let's be realistic here. There's plenty that this team needs to work on for it to be considered a strong threat to make the playoffs. Hope all is well.